Welcome to Outdoor Oasis Ideas. Today, we're diving into a topic that's sure to elevate your curb appeal and bring joy to your outdoor space. Designing a front yard flower bed that creates a blooming oasis right at your doorstep. Let's start by discussing the importance of planning your front yard flower bed. Consider the style of your home, climate in your area, and your personal preferences. Do you want a formal, symmetrical look, or are you leaning towards a more casual, cottage garden style? Are you drawn to a monochromatic color scheme, or do you prefer a riot of colors? These initial decisions will guide your plant choices and overall design. Next, assess your front yard's conditions. Take note of how much sunlight different areas receive throughout the day. Some spots may be in full sun, while others might be partially shaded. This information is crucial for selecting plants that will thrive in your specific environment. Also, consider the soil type in your yard. Is it sandy, clay-like, or somewhere in between? Knowing your soil composition will help you choose plants that are well suited to your conditions or guide you in amending the soil to support a wider variety of plants. Now let's talk about the shape and size of your flower bed. The layout should complement your home's architecture and the overall landscape of your front yard. For a more traditional look, consider creating curved beds with flowing lines that soften the edges of your property. If your home has a more modern aesthetic, geometric shapes with clean, straight lines might be more appropriate. When determining the size of your flower bed, consider the scale of your front yard and home. A small cottage might be overwhelmed by an expansive flower bed, while a large colonial home might look bare with only a tiny strip of flowers. Aim for a balance that feels right for your property. Don't be afraid to start small. You can always expand your flower bed in the future as you gain confidence and experience. Let's move on to one of the most exciting parts of designing a flower bed, choosing your plants.
This is where you can really let your creativity shine. When selecting plants, consider their height, color, texture, and bloom time. You'll want to create a layered effect with taller plants at the back of the bed or in the center for island beds, medium height plants in the middle, and shorter plants or ground covers in the front. Color is a crucial element in flower bed design. You might choose a harmonious color scheme with variations of one or two colors, or opt for a more vibrant look, contrasting colors. Remember that green foliage can act as a neutral backdrop, allowing flower colors to pop. Consider how your color choices will look against your home's exterior. You want the flower bed to complement, not clash with, or house color. Don't forget about seasonal interest. While it's tempting to focus on summer blooming plants, a well-designed flower bed should offer visual appeal throughout the year. Include spring flowering bulbs, summer perennials, fall blooming plants, and even some evergreens or plants with interesting winter structure To ensure year-round beauty. Now, let's discuss some specific plant suggestions for your front yard flower bed. For the back of the bed, consider tall perennials like delphinium, hollyhocks, or ornamental grasses such as miscanthus or feather reed grass. These provide height and can act as a beautiful backdrop for shorter plants. In the middle layer, you might include plants like coneflowers, black-eyed susans, salvia, or daylilies. These medium-height plants offer a variety of colors and bloom times ensuring ongoing interest throughout the growing season.
For the front of the bed, low-growing plants like creeping phlox, alyssum, or sedums can provide a beautiful carpet of color. Don't forget to include some evergreen plants for year-round structure. Small boxwoods or dwarf conifers can work well in this role. Consider incorporating some plants with interesting foliage to add texture and visual interest even when flowers aren't blooming. Plants like hostas, hucheras, and ornamental grasses can provide a range of leaf colors and shapes that complement your flowering plant. Remember to include some pollinator-friendly plants in your design. Plants like echinacea, butterflyweed, and bee balm are excellent choices for attracting pollinators. When you're ready to plant, arrange your plants while they're still in their pots. This allows you to experiment with different layouts before committing. Remember to space plants according to their mature size. It's tempting to plant closely for instant impact, but overcrowding can lead to problems down the line. As the season progresses, some plants may need pruning to maintain their shape or control their size. Perennials often benefit from being cut back after flowering to promote bushier growth or second bloom. Your flower bed will evolve over time, and that's part of the joy of gardening. Some plants may outgrow their space, while others might not perform as well as expected. Don't be afraid to make changes, moving plants to better locations, or replacing them with new varieties.
This ongoing refinement is what makes a garden uniquely yours and keeps it interesting year after year. As seasons change, your maintenance tasks will shift. In spring, it's time to clean up any winter debris, cut back dead foliage from perennials, and perhaps add some fresh mulch. Summer is often focused on watering, deadheading, and enjoying your blooms. Fall is the time to plant spring flowering bulbs, Divide overgrown perennials, and perhaps add some fall color with chrysanthemums or asters. In winter, you might protect sensitive plants with mulch or burlap wraps and enjoy the structural elements of your garden under a blanket of snow. Lighting can extend the enjoyment of your front yard flower bed into the evening hours. Solar-powered garden lights are an eco-friendly option that can highlight key plants or create a gentle glow along a garden path. For a more dramatic effect, consider uplighting a specimen plant or the facade of your home to create a stunning nighttime display. As you work on your front yard flower bed, don't forget to step back regularly and view it from different angles. including from inside your home. The view from your windows is just as important as the view from the street. Remember, creating a beautiful front yard flower bed is an ongoing process. It will change and evolve over time as plants grow, seasons pass, and your tastes develop. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, we would be thrilled if you'd consider subscribing to our channel. 
happy gardening.